It's now Thursday morning, and four days ago, David Tennant made a prediction as to what might appear in today's Guardian newspaper. He placed that prediction in a sealed envelope inside another one, and he's kept that safely with him all week. I've sent him off to buy today's Guardian from any news agent of his choosing anywhere in London, and then to bring that newspaper back to me without looking at it. We sent a camera to keep an eye on him. Guardian, 17th of January, 2008. Mission accomplished, let's go. You. Thank you. So, if you could lose these supplements before we do anything, just drop them on the floors. That way. Okay, so it's Thursday the 17th of January. Are you happy this is a today's Guardian? I've just bought it. You have just bought it? Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. Now, you've also got the uh, envelope on you, which you've been hanging on to for a few days now, for three days since Monday. Um, not tampered with? No. no. Look, we're not expecting this to be perfect block capitals, I, David Tennant, predict X, Y, Z. It's the nature of automatic writing. It's going to be squiggly and difficult to decipher, but we will decipher what we can find, and I'm going to write up here the sort of four or five things that we can kind of make sense of and compare them to what's in the paper. All right? So if you can open that for me, and I'm going to get this down as well, and ask you to take out the... You've, there's an envelope inside the envelope, isn't there? So if you yeah. take out the envelope inside... And pull that. Fantastic. If you just take out the prediction inside, but without actually unfolding it and reading it just yet. Fantastic. Okay. I'll give you the camera. If you want to just unfold that for me, and we'll start going through it. And uh, you can read it as best as you can. So the camera should be able to pick that up. My name is David Tennant. I am now about to begin automatic writing, and we'll predict events that will happen and be reported by the Guardian newspaper on Thursday, 17th January, 2008, three days' time. Okay. This is the point where it sort of starts to get a bit... Um, yeah. A little bit messy. We can ignore anything that clearly refers to things that were going on in your head just to do with the questions that I was asking. Yeah. It'll take a while for the genuine automatic writing to kick in. I can't okay. read any of that. Australia. I think I asked you about where you wanted to go. I think we're still on the... the Holidays. Oh, I don't know what that is. I got wall or something? Or... That doesn't seem to relate to anything. Equally, doesn't need to mean anything either, but let's, no. write it, let's write it down so at least we can start writing down things that we can read. And we can always go back and look at those other ones afterwards. Is it A? What does that look like? A-G? A-G-A-W-A... Double L-A? Something file? Or file. tile? You think tile? You know, you're writing for the tile. <sighs> Cold cat. Uh, face something? That's face, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like face, isn't it? How much of this do you remember at the time? No, no, and by where, now where I was were just, you, with the, you no, were just scribbling. I, I was just scribbling. Cold cat Cold again. Cat. Wife. There's crab apple. There's no sense of really a story yet here. Poppy. Poppy. Scrabble. There's Scrabble. Scrabble. That doesn't look like Scrabble. Will Sue. Will Sue. That looks like online to me. Yeah. Online Scrabble. Somebody will sue online Scrabble. <laughs> there you go. That's, that almost, that that's almost a sentence. Actually, I know what this is. I know what this is. I have looked at the papers this morning. Right. Um, that does look like a complete statement. Um, all right, so there's nothing on the front page that matches with this. I'm going to let you go through. There is a... S well, there's Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> My brother's Facebook homage to Scrabble spells Face. it. A face. face. Face you had quite a few times. Face. This is a story of um, the makers of Scrabble suing the online version that's on Facebook for copying them. Uh, so I go, I go, what? Nearly. Tile, of course. Tile. Cold cat. Cold cat. Cold, cold cutter. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> and wife. Across the top, you see? Those are the words that are on the picture. <laughs> well, you've done it. Yeah. <laughs> you've done it. There's the guy, there's his name. Face, clearly Facebook, tile, cold cat, cold catter. <laughs> David, you've been fantastic. Please take this with you and sure. do check it against well, obviously I, I, any I'm, other I'm going to now start working on, on, uh, on some Moshi numbers. Well, perhaps we'll, uh, and, uh, we'll team up for that. Yeah, I'll see you in, I'll see you in Hawaii. No, it's not something I'm familiar with, uh, predicting the future. It's, it's something I'm, uh, uh, I'm dabbling with for the first time, if I'm honest. <laughs> and probably the last. But uh, I'm very glad that it's been brought out of me in such an exciting way. 
Well, to win loads of Darren Brown goodies and find out more about the show, go to channel4.com slash Darren Brown. Still on the way, at five past eleven, Gordon Ramsay's meatballs are put to the test in the return of the F word. But next, Mark needs a girlfriend and fast in Peep Show. <laughs>